Welcome back to Living Local. Hearing loss means more than just losing our ability to hear. It reduces the ability to balance and increases your chances of falling and even risking serious injury. And today we are learning a little bit more with Taylor Parker, Senior Regional Director for Concept by Iowa Hearing, which is also this segment sponsor. Taylor, great to have you back. Welcome. Good to be back. Thank you. All right. Let's talk about balance and falling and the yep. connection there to hearing loss, because I think a lot of folks just think as you get older, that's just what comes with older age, right? Uh, both things, one falling and having hearing loss, that it's something I'll do later in life. You know, oh, I don't hear very well, but it's, you know, I'm not old enough yet. I get by, you know, this, the standard, I'm doing this 25 years. This, <laughs> those haven't changed in 25 yeah. years. But understanding that, you know, hearing isn't an ear thing, it's a brain thing. Our brain processes everything the ears send it. So our cochlea looks like a little snail. There's 15,000 tiny little hairs or nerves inside of that that get damaged from um, you know, loud noise. Um, noise and exposure is the number one type of hearing loss. There's other, you know, other things that can affect the cochlea as well. Loud noise being the number one cause of, of hearing loss. Um, or, or the num yeah, the number one um, overall cause of hearing loss. But so the cochlea, when those little hairs get broken, brittle, break off, they can't send the full signal to the brain. The brain then has to do something. It has to compensate. First thing it does is it pulls from our cognitive, which is where the part with dementia comes in that we've talked about before. Yes. The second is balance and gait. So it's robbing those resources to help us balance and then causes you know other issues as well um, you know for the over the age of 65 the number one cause of accidental death and hospitalization is actually falling so this leads to a, a bigger issue and yeah. and we're not just talking like it's we're not talking it's just like you 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 know lose the ability uh, mild untreated hearing loss you know most people when they come in get a hearing test it's mild they'll say oh I'm fine I'm good for a while it triples your risk of falling at mild so, and then every 10 decibels your hearing loss worsens, it increases that by 140%. So we're talking, as you get to like a moderate, moderately severe type of hearing loss, it's exponential, the, the, the effects that, you know, having an untreated hearing loss causes. And, you know, when we're done here, we're just gonna walk away. We don't think about it. Right. You know, we're standing here, we don't think about, it's just a process that we go through. Those individuals, you know, if you've ever been to a restaurant and you've seen someone kind of process information, you can see that they're thinking a little bit, they're actually processing their next move because they know I've got a little balance issue right. that you know may cause something, or if you're maybe you're a walker, a person that walks a lot, you walk with a friend, and something you know a, a biker goes by and you get startled, and you have poor balance anyway. It can cause you know issues when you're out walking, and you know it leads to a lot of different things that that you know we don't even think about. Yeah, and you have to start thinking and start processing, and you know using things to help balance. And so, when should viewers become concerned? Do, do, do you wait until you have that first? fall? No, um, I mean, <laughs> you, sh you, shouldn't, you shouldn't, but, you know, a lot of people ignore a hearing loss and don't, you know, understand the link that our body has to our ears, you know, all the things, and, you know, we've talked about diabetes before yeah. as well, yeah. you know, with diabetes, you have extremity issues as well, you know, so then if you have an untreated hearing loss, that can lead <laughs> or increase it even more because now you have extremity issues, falling, um, but, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, we always recommend people get a baseline hearing test at about the age of 45. But if you notice that you're, you know, maybe not hearing well, having, you know, notice that you, you know, balance is off a little bit, getting a hearing screening isn't going to hurt. It's free. Right. And, you know, it, it can help you at least guide, gu you know, guide you through to some, you know, maybe some other things as well. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the connection between hearing loss and cognitive decline. We've t you've talked yeah. a little bit about that, but I, it, that's just a big, that's a big issue for so many folks and they, they don't realize the connection. There. It is, you know, when they're talking about, um, you know, dementia and in, um, Alzheimer's tripling by 2050. So, you know, in the next 25 years, it's going to increase a lot and yeah. understanding that you know, the cognitive portion being, you know, your brain, you know, you see right there on the screen, the left hand side actually is a, a brain that has a hearing loss, right hand side's normal hearing. That left hand side, even when you decide to treat your hearing, doesn't go back to what the right hand side looks like. Your brain never goes back to its original form. You've now shaped it into a new mm. formation. So understanding what untreated hearing loss is really doing to your brain, yeah. not your ears your yeah. actual brain and what happens. Now, there is good news. Um, there are some studies that have come out in the course of the last 12 months that have talked about 
um, when you treat your hearing loss by you know by treating it with hearing devices. Yeah. Um, there's five things that happen. Um, Twenty-four percent, you can actually uh, reduce your risk of mortality, so you can actually live longer by twenty-four percent. Not by up to 24%, yeah. 24%. That's a big number. That's a huge number. Yeah. 40%, you can prevent or delay up to 40% of the cases of dementia by treating your hearing loss. That's another big number. Yeah. 48% is you can improve cognitive decline by up to 48% by treating your hearing loss. And then 75%, you can reduce dementia symptoms by up to 75%. And it's the number one modifiable risk factor. There's 12 modifiable risk factors that you can control yourself to help reduce dementia. Mm -hmm. um, number one modifiable one is actually treat your hearing loss and doing it between the age of 45 and 65. Yeah, that's why so it's so important. It is. It's important to do it one earlier um, because you want to, you know, with cognitive decline. Yeah. But these four numbers, actually five, because it's number one modifiable risk factor, five things that actually can help by treating your hearing loss. And those are, you know, we're not talking like two, three, four percent, 24, 40, 48, 75. I mean, those are real big numbers. Yeah, that is. Real quick, tell us about where you're located and uh, folks just need to call, make an appointment. They do. Um, there's two ways you can do it. Um, we've got locations right here locally, um, here in Davenport and one in Clinton. Okay. Um, and then, you know, others throughout Eastern Iowa as well. Um, but phone number or you can go to our website iowahearing.com you can book it right on our website you can find out locations book your appointment don't have to talk to anyone you just choose the location choose the time and it's free love it love it get your hearing check that's right taylor as always thanks for coming in thanks today all right again this segment was sponsored by concept by iowa hearing and for more information go to iowahearing.com we'll also have all those details posted on our quadcities.com